Okay, so let's start. Uh, first, I'd like you to read the passage uh, in front of you here and answer the questions below. We have three questions. So you can stop the video for like um, uh, three or four minutes to answer these questions and then you can play the video to check your answers. Okay, I guess you got them right, so let's answer these questions. Yes, number one, why does Karim have to walk to school? Yes, very good, so it's because he he doesn't have a bike. Very good. Uh, number two, why can't his parents buy a bike for him? Yes, very good, because they are poor, they don't have money or they are poor or don't have money for that. Very good. Three. Does he have a camera? Very good. No, he he doesn't. Okay. Very good. Okay. Now I'd like you to read the following sentences and complete the rule below. So in conditional sentences we have two uh, clauses. We have if clause that starts with F and the main clause that would be uh, the result. So we have condition and the result. So I'd like you to read these sentences and complete this table with, with the rule. Okay, so if uh, in if clause we have F plus which terms of the verb do we use? If Karim had a bike, so had, which stance is this? Yes, it's simple, simple past. Very good. It's simple past of the verb. And so we have if plus subject plus simple past. And then in the main clause, we say he wouldn't walk to school. So we have a subject, he plus would plus verb. Okay, so in the first sentence we have uh, negative, he wouldn't, so it's you can see would or wouldn't if it, it is negative. Yes, so we let's have a look at these examples. So uh, I'd like you to notice uh, sentence last sentence. Uh, he would take photos of everything if he had a camera. So we can start with the main clause also. But notice that if we start with the main clause, we don't put comma in the first after the first clause. So if we start with if clause, we have comma after the first the if clause. But if we start with the main clause, we don't have comma in this sentence. Okay. Uh, okay. So when do we use uh, conditional type two? If Karim had a bike, does Karim have a bike? No, he doesn't. So he does he walk to school? Yes. So if he had a bike, he wouldn't walk to school. So we are imagining here an unreal situation. Okay. Uh, so we use conditional type two to express unreal situations, something that is not real, the opposite of reality, or things that are unlikely to happen, or things that are impossible in present. Okay. So he would take photos if of everything if he had a camera he doesn't have a camera and he is not he doesn't take photos so we are just imagining uh, the unreal situation here okay now it's time for uh, for you to practice so I'd like to match the clauses to make sentences so match the if clause of each sentence with the main clause let's see the first uh, one as an example so if I had time now, can you guess the, n the other clause? So we have F clause. What is the main clause of this sentence? If I had time now. Yes, very good. I would go to gym. So if I had time now, I would go to gym. So gym is a place where you do sport, right? Uh, okay, uh, you can stop the video again for... Uh, 
three or four minutes and try to match the other clauses. Well, okay, let's collect them together. Yes, number two, you wouldn't stay out late. Yes, very good. A, if your parents were at home. You wouldn't stay out late if your parents were at home. So the parents are not at home now. So this person stays late. Uh, three, if my dad had a driving license. Yes, what? would he do yes very good he would buy a car he would buy a car okay very good number four if the weather was nice today yes very good we would go out we would go out five you would get good marks uh-huh if you worked hard okay so for example this person is telling his friend that he's not working well so if you if you, you would get good marks if you worked hard okay now put the verbs in brackets in the correct form so okay let's do the first one together so we see if you didn't smoke, so we have here if clause, if you didn't smoke, you, the verb is to be healthy. Okay, what would you say? Yes, very good, you would see, you would be healthy, very good, you would be healthy, very good. Okay, you can stop the video again and finish the exercise, then you can uh, continue the video and uh, check your answers. Well, I guess you got them right. Uh, okay, number two. We see if I... Yes, very good. If I had... So we need simple past of the verb. If I had 10,000 dirhams now, I would buy a motorcycle. Mm -hmm, number three. So here we have negative. Yes, we see if it... Yes, if it didn't rain, we... Yes, we would go on a picnic. Very good. Four, we see if I. Yes, very good. So for the verb to be here, uh, simple past, we can use, uh, normally we say I was, but in conditional type two, we can see also if I were. If I were a child. If I was a child. Okay. I would play all the time very good I would play all the time very good five Hanan yes Hanan would get a job or a good job if she spoke if she spoke English here we start with the main clause with the main clause here right okay so Hanan would get good job if she spoke English very good Okay, now what you're going to do is to rewrite the sentences using the conditional type 2. Rewrite, you are going to write again the sentences. For what is in the first picture? Yeah, so this woman wants to buy a dress, but she doesn't have money, right? She said, I can't buy this dress because I don't have enough money now. So if you uh, imagine the unreal situation, what would you say? We can see if I had enough money, now I would buy this dress. But the reality is that she doesn't have enough money, okay? So you finish the other sentences and then you uh, continue the video to check your answers. Okay, so uh, second sentence. I cannot go out today because I am very tired. Yes, you see, if, uh -huh. yes, if I wasn't or if I weren't very tired today, I would go out. Okay. Uh, number three. Yes, you see, if I could swim, 
I would go with my friends to the swimming pool. So we have, um, I can't swim, so can't simply, in past we see could. If I could swim, I would go with my friends to the swimming pool. Uh, last one. Okay, mm yes, so we say, if I spoke Japanese, I would talk to these tourists. Okay, now it's time for speaking, it's your time for production stage. So, uh, I'd like you to look at this picture and suggest as many things as possible that would help John be healthier. And you are going to use conditional type too. If you are with a partner or a friend, you can challenge each other of, uh, uh, about coming with coming up with sentences. So, for example, you can say, "If John went to bed earlier, he wouldn't be tired." And your friend would say, "If he didn't smoke so much, he wouldn't cough." Okay, and you can go on like this. And I'm sure. Uh, you're going to come up with uh, many uh, sentences and many suggestions. Okay, good luck and see you in the next lesson.